Okay, today we're going to look at how we're going to do our soil enumeration and talk about how to get work with some of the soil itself. You'll get a protocol that looks something like this. A couple of changes in here, but um, this tells you sort of what we're going to try to do, which is going to be comparing how well a specific buffer called sodium pyrophosphate is at removing bacteria from soil particles compared to plain old phosphate buffer. We're going to compare those two. So the point of this lab will be to basically learn how to do enumeration, but we're going to do an actual experiment in the process. And this is an experiment where I do not know the um, result, which is kind of more fun. So if I look at this little guy here, the little procedure, you're going to do a few things. You're going to have pH paper. This is going to be used to make your sodium pyrophosphate has to be a certain pH, doesn't have to be exact, but we're going to have your, you're going to have something like this. You're going to have a beaker and you're going to have a stir bar and a stir plate in order to make up your buffer. You're going to have some sodium pyrophosphate. This thing has a molecular weight of 446 and you are going to figure out how to make that yourself in terms of you're going to make 50 mils of it. So you got to know how much of that powder you're going to use to put in here and on your stir plate um, and pH it to make 50 mils, okay? So you're gonna to have to figure that out um, on your own, knowing the molecular weight. Who said chemistry was useless? You're gonna have pipettes available for pipetting things. You were going to probably use these big bottles, centrifuge bottles, because um, I'm not sure what kind of centrifuge we're gonna have available to us. These will go into the big gray centrifuge that's in 165, and we'll probably go over there and use that. So I'll demonstrate what we're going to do with those um, today. Um, you're going to um, have sodium phosphate buffer already made. So we'll actually, or not sodium, just a regular phosphate buffer already made. We'll have that. We'll supply that for you. So you don't have to make that. Um, a shovel, a screen. Well, a shovel is just to get some dirt, some soil. Today I went out outside um, uh, avoid, avoided the COVID police and just used a uh, tongue depressor and got some soil that I have right here from outside in campus. Um, you're going to use a screen to sieve this to sort of separate some of the junk and the gack out of it. And so you're either going to get one of these nifty devices, which I stole from Dr. Whitlow. Even before you start, that was a preemptive sh Thank you, Dr. Whitlow. Um, uh, and and what this is, is you put your soil on top, you catch the soil that comes through on the bottom. You can see it's two pieces, top and bottom. Um, fail, and that works really well. Failing that, you're just gonna have to do it old school, which works fine, which is just some sieve from a screen that I've cut. I'm gonna stick it in a container, either a um, container like this or just a beaker. Just put it down like so, and I'll demonstrate. Put soil on there, shake it around a little bit, and you can do the same thing. End up with sifted soil down in the bottom. Um, so that will go fine. You're going to, let's see, you are going to um, have everything you need for doing dilutions. You're going to have ethanol, um, pipettes, micropipettes, tips, everything that you're going to need. A graduated cylinder, <laughs> some way boats, um, it's a graduated cylinder. Um, so that you can make your 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 uh, um, buffer, etc., which is fine. Um, and then we're going to use a rotary shaker for this, um, because what we're going to do is shake the soil material vigorously for 10 to 15 minutes um, for this procedure to get the bacteria off of it. Okay. So now, how are we going to do this? I'm going to follow this routine and just kind of show you. So the first thing it says is to go collect soil. Okay. Through the magic of television, um, I've already collected soil, okay? So you're gonna get to go do that or bring some soil from home, which is really, turns out that's really a good way to do it. You're gonna sift it through um, the sieves. You're gonna want to end up with uh, essentially 10 grams, um, five grams in each of these bottles. That's one's gonna be sodium, one's gonna be for the, the sodium pyrophosphate, so one's gonna be for the regular sodium phosphate buffer, okay? so. Literally, if you got one of these, all you do is take some of the soil and shake it back and forth. And you can see there's big pieces on top that don't go through. That's fine. You just discard those. 
and you end up with your collected sieved soil at the bottom. I'm going to do enough of that so you get, uh, like I said, um, five grams, so 10 grams total. Okay. Now, um, that's fine and dandy if you are unlucky enough to be someone who just uses a screen, which is possible and it's not hard. All you do is kind of cup this down like so, pour your soil in. I kind of cover it with my hand a little bit, and you do the same thing. You just shake it around. You do this little bit, and you will find that most, if not all, of the soil goes through just like it did on the, on the expensive ecology sieve, and you end up with soil. Okay, and that stuff there I will just discard back into my little beaker. The mess I'm going to make here. Okay? Oh, we'll just do this. Okay? So now we got all the soil. It's nice and fine. And that's where our little bacteria are. Okay? So now it says five grams in a, in a um, centrifuge bottle. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to weigh this out. Make sure I've zeroed. You'll either use a weigh boat or a beaker. I'm not sure how much we're going to get here. Good Lord. There's five grams right there. I wonder if we have 10 total. Let's find out. I'll be a son of a gun. Look at that. I am almost a god. So then it says, add, uh, put these it, one in each um, bottle. In this case, I'm going to use these bottles. In fact, I'll label one. You can just use a Sharpie and label it right on top of the plastic. I'm going to measure one, call one sodium, and one, I'll just leave the, well, I'll, I'll label it. One, I'm just going to call it phosphate buffer with a P. Okay. So. I'm going to put first one on here. Okay, there's five grams. In one. Five grams in the other. Excellent. Now, it says add 50 mils of each of the respective buffers. So this one's a sodium pyro. And this is going to be my, my sodium. So I take my little um, thing here, my, my graduate cylinder, and measure that. You know, when you want to do meniscus, and this is not quantitative analysis. Um, don't let Dr. Latch hear me say that. Uh, but this doesn't have to be super perfect. Put our 50 mils in there. We should make sure we have the different buffer in each side. So now the next step says, you close these things down, and now we're going to agitate these things for, it says on here 15 minutes. We're probably going to do about 10 or 15 minutes. We'll, we'll, you can decide, 10 or 15, depends on how fast you want to go. The idea is shaking in these buffers, you're going to hopefully remove the bacteria from the soil. Better than if we just went like this, let it settle, took a sample of the supernatant, and plated that out. But I'm going to go ahead and stick these in here and stick them in like that. They're nice and tight. I'm going to close this. I'm going to turn this on. And this thing, when I turn it on, is going to go wicked fast. Okay. In fact, I want this thing to, like, really move. So I'm turning the speed control to 11. Those of you who are um, fans of this is Spinal Tap. We're going to 11. These go to 11. Okay. But I'm going past the controller. And I want to let this thing shake. And you can see it's really moving. And the idea is that's hopefully going to remove those bacteria.